I studied artificial intelligence um, from 93 to 96. I was trying to program uh, neural networks to understand grammar. It didn't work very well. I speculated that grammar didn't exist. But in, in fact, it just, didn't, it just didn't work very well. Yeah, um, And we've gone through some periods of time where people have, have lost faith in artificial intelligence in the 70s, in the 80s, in the early 90s. And now we've got the computing power, we've got the money behind us, and we've got the big tech companies pouring billions of dollars into research that are fundamentally understanding that we can take huge amounts of data in real time, and we can process that through, through algorithms and machine learning to predict what we need at that point in time and to make decisions as good, if not better, as, than, than humans. I just want to show this short video of, of where we kind of think AI is. I don't think this is where we're at with AI. I think that we're, we're at a, a little bit more sedentary sort of pace. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. Skynet defense system We're in. now activated. We're past the firewalls, local defense nets, Minutemen and subs. Skynet fully operational, processing at 60 teraflops per second. Sir, it should take less than a minute to find the virus and kill it. All access inquiries to your supervisor. Let's pray to God this works. Skynet defense system now activated. Power failure? No. I don't know what it is. Yeah, so the media would have us think that the robots that are being built, that was Atlas at the beginning, he can't actually speak like a drunk, sort of like hockey-loving kind of robot, right? Um, they'd have us think that we're, we're headed into a world where artificial intelligence is going to fundamentally unravel the fabric of our society, and you're all going to be out of jobs. In fact, I read an article um, about three months ago when I was preparing for this presentation, and, it's like, and, and the title was something like, How are All Engineers Will Be Out of a Job by 2023? I don't... And it, they talked about artificial intelligence and generative algorithms, and there was some like insights in there. But like, that's not how we work. Humans are part, in the, part of the, 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 the problem-solving exercise that we go through. But really, over the years, uh, AI has got incredibly powerful. Uh, Gary Kasparov got beaten by a chess-playing robot. And then IBM Watson uh, beat all of the best players at Jeopardy. Uh, last year, we had the world champion at Go, Lee C. Doll. Ninth Dan, um, unbeatable, except he was beaten 4-1 by... Uh, by Google's AlphaGo, and then they transferred that technology and let that, let that AI learn on its own. It became AlphaZero. It learned Go from scratch in 40 days, just knowing the rules, and became completely unbeatable. It learned chess in four hours, became unbeatable, and helped ground, it's now helping grandmasters understand new strategies going forward. So it's about human and the machine, and I love that idea versus the machine and nothing else because I don't think that's the future that I envisage. But 
it's powerful, and it's going to be able to do a lot of things that we can do today. You know, translating languages, driving a truck, working in retail, that's not too difficult anyway. Uh, writing a best-selling book, if you've read some of the books out there, that's not too difficult either. Um, but so some of the things like working as a surgeon, there's already artificial intelligence and robotics working in surgery context today with the help of doctors. But imagine if you could walk in and, and you, you, you'd never have to touch a human, uh, a completely um, safe and sanitary environment. Environment and, and they can perform surgery on you um, with, with no mistakes, um, with, with a high level and, of, and probability of success of that particular procedure without any complications and such like. We're going to choose that world of, of accuracy. You know, how much are we going to have humans in the loop? Well, they're going to have to be there because remember, we're the people with wisdom. Robotics and AI, it's really difficult to encode what that is.